hello friends welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to learn how to create a date table in power bi between two given date and we can create uh, trust me we can create this particular date table within fraction of second with the help of query code okay so i have one query for creating a date table which is this one now i'll just explain this particular query what you will get as an output from this particular query so basically first you have to put start date okay and you have to put end date once you entered start date and end date what will happen number of rows will be created between these two particular date for each and every date for example let's say start date is 1st july 2023 and end date is 7 july 2023 so what we will get as an output we will get as in multiple row as an output for 1 july 2023 then 2 july 2023 till 7 july 2023 if you put some different start date so you will get each and every date between these two particular date as a row okay now number of columns will also be created for year then year number then for quarter then for month then for day day international column will be created month name calendar month calendar quarter day week day name week ending week number month uh, the combination of month and year combination of quarter and year at last short year and then financial year you will also get okay now let's see how to incorporate this particular query in power bi so let's open power bi now what you have to do you have to go to get data here one multiple options are there you have to select a blank query option here okay once you have selected blank query under the home tab you will get three option properties advanced editor and manage you have to click on advanced editor once you have clicked on advanced editor so you will get an option to type the query now what you have to do i'll just give this file in the description box as well you have to just copy this particular code again you have to go to advanced editor and you have to just paste this particular code here once you have pasted this particular code in this query editor you have to click on done after clicking on done one pop-up window will open and it will ask start date and end date okay so you have to put any date as in start date so let's put 1 1 2014 and end date let's put 1 1 2024 then you have to put financial year start month so i'll put it as 7 okay now what will happen see number of rows will be created for each and every date in between these two particular dates now you have to click on invoke once you have clicked on invoke see number of rows are also created and number of columns are also created so in rows we have different dates if you observe carefully and in column we have year quarter of year then month of year day of month day international column month name month in calendar quarter in calendar day in week week name or day name we can say then week ending week number month in year then quarter in year we'll get the short year also and at last financial year also so this is the easiest method to create this kind of date table and we know whenever we are doing any financial analysis or any sort of analysis we require the date table so within fraction of second you can create date table with the help of this particular code i hope you have liked this trick in power bi so thank you for joining with me in this video